This barley is going to end up in James Bogue's beer, a premium Tasmanian brew. And here, as well as overseas, our barley industry has a reputation for being a producer of high quality malting barley. From a trade perspective, it's an enviable reputation. So the GRDC and one of the world's leading crop DNA profiling laboratories have come up with a malting barley variety purity test, which will make sure our reputation is maintained. Barley obviously used in malting and then on into brewing uh, requires genetic purity because maltsters uh, require the, the, uh, the grain to germinate at a very uniform, in a very uniform way and for the characteristics such as the enzyme development to be very uniform and consistent. Uh, then the brewers also require similar sort of consistency and uniformity. Malting barley accounts for a third of Australia's average yearly production of six and a half million tonnes. And the quality is so highly regarded internationally, Australian malting barley accounts for a third of the world's malting barley trade. Crucial to maintaining that enviable reputation is the variety purity of the grain. Purity that should be assured even before seed is sown. By the time you've put it in the field, if you've already sown a, a, a bag of seed that has a 20% or even a 10% uh, of another variety mixed in with it, or it's, it's genetically drifted, uh, it's no longer acceptable to be taken in as malt at the other end. So you've already dropped the difference between malting grade to feed grade. Uh, so we'd prefer to try and catch these problems before the grower actually puts them into the field. A high proportion of barley grown in Australia comes from farmer-saved seed. And it's not uncommon for a farmer to have grown the same variety for a good many years. So over the past five years, the University of Adelaide has been taking random samples from commercial deliveries to test for genetic shift. We were pleasantly surprised when, for instance, we look at a variety like Schooner, which was released in 1983 and uh, has certainly had enough time on farm to gather uh, contaminants or, or get mixed. But what we found is that farmers in general have done an exceptionally good job of maintaining uh, purity in their own farm safe seed operations. For a long time, testing for barley purity had been done with a keen eye and an intimate knowledge of the existing varieties. Early on, we used to be actually be able to physically identify varieties by the shape of the grain and whether they had hairs on certain positions and things like that. That was, that was possible while we only had a very small number of moulding varieties and, and the varieties released, actually they took care to make sure they were distinguishable. Um, but these days that's not really possible anymore, so we need a much better way of doing it. Beyond visual testing, obviously we can use DNA based uh, analysis, so, so it's the forensic fingerprinting type, type analysis that many people are familiar with, so CSI for barley. Here in Canberra, that forensic analysis is taking place at the laboratories of Diversity Arrays Technology. DART, as it's known, is a world leader in genotyping. We quantify presence or absence of specific fragment of DNA. Dr Andre Killian and his team extract high quality DNA from a barley sample, apply enzymes to break it down into specific sets of DNA fragments. Fluorescent molecules are attached to these fragments and scanned to measure the level of fluorescence. These fragments are matched against 380 different markers called DAT arrays. These markers or spots represent a specific location on the genome and the lack of fluorescence indicates no presence. A high level of fluorescence indicates definite presence and an intermediate level of fluorescence means there's contamination. Once we establish this is the variety A, B or whatever, then we can compare the zero spots, the quiet spots, from the reference against this sample. The intensity values of the fluorescence range from zero to 65,000, so extremely precise results can be obtained. And the Malting Barley Reference Bank consists of 100 lines sourced from the National Winter Cereal Collection. The actual samples are pedigree seed that was lodged by the breeder uh, when the varieties were first released. The DART facility will be the central hub for the testing, but the plan is to have a regional network to link growers with the Canberra facility. The work that we've been doing with DART, or Diversity Array Technology, uh, has been to develop a commercial platform 
uh, to enable us to deliver this test. Now, DART won't actually be the commercial face. Uh, we aim to commercialise the actual test through a, a number of um, uh, retail or, or, or wholesalers out there so that growers have someone closer that they can deliver to uh, and someone who can help actually uh, uh, help them with the results that they get as well. But they'll all be delivering the DNA back to this platform at, uh, at DART. What GRDC also wanted from this varietal purity test was a means of clearly informing growers of the results and the traffic light approach has been adopted. So Green is, is saying that the seed is good quality, it's above the 95% threshold, it's, it's good to sow, and it is of the variety that they nominate it. If it's orange, it means that the variety is perhaps uh, uh, slipping a little. It might be between 90 and 95%. It's still the variety that they think it is, but it's time for them to go and find some new seed, if not this current season, then next season. And red is it's not the variety you thought it was, or it is heavily contaminated and shouldn't be used for sowing. All going well, the service should be available to growers in time for this winter's sowing. And as there's a legal obligation for growers to correctly declare the barley variety being delivered, a service that can quickly, cost effectively and independently certify a variety's purity must be a bonus for the entire malting barley trade and a good investment of grower R&D dollars.